Hi, this is Brian Shiro at FMARS. Today I'm going to show you around the inside of the hat to give you an idea of what it's like to live here. Come on, let's go see. We're going to walk up to the airlock door. Alright, let's go inside. First is our simulated airlock. This is where we spend about five minutes before and after EVAs. That's what it looks like out the door. We have a couple of containers of water in here right now. Now let's go into the EVA prep room. This is where we get ready for the EVAs. You can see our suits all hanging up. Mine's back there in the corner. I'll go show you our patch while I'm at it. FMARS 2009 patch. Okay. On the floor here are some garbage cans which are full of drinking water. And what we do is we pump it upstairs to our storage tank with this pump here and the hose. There are shoes. Most of our shoes are on this rack. Some safety information posted. Um, over here we keep some of our um, bear deterrent devices, bear bangers as they're known. Alright, let's go in here into the science room. You can see this is one of our escape hatches on the far side where it says exit. You had a fire, could go out there. Some work areas. Joe's done a lot of spacesuit retrofitting right now, so he has spacesuit parts around. Let's look out the window for a minute. Well, there it is. Devon Island looks a lot like Mars. There's the laptop for controlling the Omega Envoy rover. That's where we hang the uh, shotguns there. A lot of tools in here, storage. Let's go back over here. A lot of engineering related items. Let's see. And here's a circuit breaker. A lot of tools and supplies, engineering related stuff again. Let's see if I can turn this light on. Okay, so let's go back here. I'll show you what you're all curious about, and that's the bathroom. Turn on the light. Mm-hmm, there it is. So that's for liquids. Right there goes into a barrel, which we ship out. And for solids, in that bag, that's a kitchen garbage bag. So that's burned, incinerated, in fact. So that's the bathroom. We actually have a shower at FMARS, believe it or not. This room in here is the shower. It's not too bad. You know, even has a sink. If I can get it to focus. There we go. There I am. Hi. Okay, we're going to go next and tour the upstairs. Oh, wait, first, before we do that, let's look at the exercise area. We have an exercise bike here with a very nice view out on the um, Houghton Crater. There's a treadmill which we can fold down as well. And there's some more equipment in the cabinet. So that's the downstairs of FMARS. Next I'll show you around the upstairs which is right up at the top of this ladder. Alright, now we're upstairs. You can see our DVD collection. An assortment of movies that people didn't want so they left here. <laughs> CDs as well. Another view out along the crater rim. You can see we're right on the edge of the crater. It's a very sunny day now. So this is the main living area of the HAB upstairs. I'll pan around and show you. There's a lot of workstations with, for computers. There's the kitchen in the distance. There's Christy working on her gloves, it seems. And there are six doors here along the side. Each person has his or her own room. There's even a dartboard and a climbing wall left by a previous crew member. 
So over here, I'll show you the kitchen a little bit closer. Everything's organized very nicely. We trade off cooking duty every day. Up here is a hot water tank, and that's how people can take warm showers or we can wash the dishes. And there's a ladder going up to the loft. So you can see up here at the top of the hab, the hab has a, a dome-shaped top, and up there is the food storage and also the water storage. So I'm going to try to climb this thing with the camera. Yeah. So this big Rubbermaid container here is our water storage tank, um, which is gravity-fed with the assistance of a pump sometimes into the hot water here below. Let's take a look at all, our, all of our food. You can see it's all spread out and uh, you know it's organized chaos here. And all the food here is meant to have a shelf life of at least one year. That's to simulate what it would be like in a real Mars mission. Nothing, nothing too fresh. And there's more back here. And if someone needs to sleep up here, for example, if we had more than six people, um, you know, this could be turned into another sleeping area. So there's one last view of the living area of F Mars. So I hope you've enjoyed this tour of F Mars and you've gotten a better sense of what it's like to live inside here uh, in the tuna can on Mars as we call it sometimes. Um, my name is Brian Shiro signing off for this video entry. Remember you can follow the expedition at fmars.org or uh, follow my blog at astronautforhire.com. Thanks a lot and on to Mars.